All right, I'm going to continue on. I started with the uh, left side of the drawing now, uh, and I'm trying to get uh, some of the values of the trees in and some of the details, and then uh, that negative space has created the bird. So let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so here's where I am now. I kind of etched out where the uh, drawing is, or sketched out rather, where the drawing was uh, of the bird and uh, redrew it so that I could draw around it because it's virtually black here. So I, I was able to um, get around it by not, uh, you know, uh, well, just getting the uh, dark, the the B pencil. Spit it out, Nodder. Jeez. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, it's like I'm getting old. Well, I am getting old. Thank God I'm getting old. Uh, so I'm just uh, sketching in this tree. I'm going to sharpen it a little bit more. I'm going to change pencils as well. At, uh... I'm using the number two again, and I'm just getting the little treetop, uh, little tiny branches in the distance, keeping that shape that I see in the original drawing, uh, or the original photograph, and uh, just giving some shape and small little detailed branches in there so that your eye will finish the picture for me. I'm not going to... Luckily, I don't have to draw every branch uh, for your uh, eye to say, hey, that's a tree. And I could say, yeah, it is. Totally is. I totally drew that. And uh, so, anyway, keeping up, I'm uh, just going to continue getting it, uh, getting the smaller details in there until I see the value I'm looking for. Again, I don't want to color it in down here, up here, rather. I want it to be very thin and airy, which is why I'm um, just getting little branch strokes in there, really moving my pencil back and forth. Uh, just trying to get a nice uh, feeling of the shape and uh, that texture of a tree. And then this one is um, kind of falling on its side here, but still some really nice textures in it. I'm sharpening. Again, number two pencil. Very, very lightly. Um, just want to keep that shape of the tree. Uh, seeing where it might fall in front of that bridge. And notice as soon as I start to get these darker lines in front of that bridge, it pushes that bridge back. And that is key to understanding values when you're drawing. Once you start pushing it closer, the closer you are uh, to whatever's in the photograph, the darker it should be, the more detail. The further back, the lighter or the muted or the uh, less detailed. Um, so, Something to consider. Every time you're drawing, you have to really consider all of those factors that go into a decent drawing uh, to, in order to feel that perspective that you want when you finish your drawing. You want people to feel that perspective there. So I'm eliminating this bird, so I'm not concerned. Again, I'm eliminating that guy, but I'm going to keep this guy and eliminate the one behind it. Uh, I'm only going to do three birds. It's good in threes, I think. And I have this triangular pattern. A lot of uh, art, you'll notice there are patterns in the art. In this case, it's going to be a triangular pattern of that, uh, those trees, or those birds, rather. Uh, and so this, this goes right down into, so I'm changing pencils again. I'm back in my 3B, very light, uh, bowlight. Pen, or a very dark white pencil and um, so it gives me my darkness without having to utilize or use too much pressure on it um, and then we're into the, the 
the water again. So you notice my, my stroke has changed from this way to this way. That's purposely done. Um, if you ever are drawing something and you, you want it to feel like water, the best way to do it is to uh, use your strokes. Use your brush strokes or your pencil strokes, uh, whatever your medium is, to make it feel more like it's a different plane, uh, a different, um, something different happening in that picture that you're trying to capture. So this is the uh, shoreline here. And then it gets really, really black over here. Uh, so that's way, if I have my scale again, I always put it up against it and you can see that that's very, that's black. That's pretty much a nine there all the way through that area, which is great because it's going to pull up that bird, this bird here. Uh, the other bird, as I said, I'm eliminating. And that's the fun thing, the great thing about being in, in art or an art teacher, or an artist, is you can make those changes to, to great photographs. This is a beautiful photograph. But uh, because I don't need all of the other elements in it, I can eliminate it. Uh, as an artist, you could do that. And I, I think that's one of my favorite parts of being an art, artist and, and a teacher is showing uh, people that you could change uh, pictures to suit uh, your needs. It's a beautiful picture done by someone, uh, but I wanted to uh, change it in my drawing to suit me. And that's, that's awesome. If you find pictures that are pretty close, or if you took a picture that's pretty close to what you want, you know, you can make those changes and I think they make for a better composition overall. All right, now I'm coming upon this bird here and I just want to kind of sketch this guy back in because with all my uh, smudging and such, I lost him. So I'm going to just sketch him back in or her. You know, I'm not biased. Uh, so just the shape, just the, the shape of what I see in white is basically what I'm doing. And then I'm going to uh, kind of erase it with my Three Stooges eraser. <laughs> this is a Three Stooges eraser. I'll show you why in a second. Here, here, here. Here, 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 here. Sounds like a Three Stooges laughing for some reason. I nicknamed this one Three Stooges eraser. Here, 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 here. Anyway. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, I know. I'm an adult. Psst. Yeah. Anyway. Three Stooges eraser. That is, uh, and so now that I see my outline again, I can uh, get that reflection better. It's quite dark here. It's all all nines here. And so as I'm going down further, it starts to get into the eights and then fades into very little. So that's it. There you go. And so it's dark here. I'm not going to add, I decided I'm not going to add those swans that are way back there. Not important to my drawing. Uh, so not necessarily a distraction, just not really important to what I'm achieving here. Since uh, Nancy didn't want to do it with me, whatever, whatever Nance. Do it without you. Forget you. Yeah, I was going to do another oil painting, but uh, I, I, I get to hang out with my friend Ken Erdy, who's, uh, who's kind enough to uh, come on out, and uh, I don't know if he's going to do a little interview while I paint, and uh, I think that'd be fun. He's always a fun guy. Not as fun as me, uh, but no, I'm just kidding. He's great, though, uh, so hopefully that'd be fun, and we could post that and show you uh, the oil painting process Well. Uh, learn a little bit about me, I think. I think that's what's going to happen. I'm not sure. You just tell me you would like to uh, interview me. And, and uh, I'm free. <laughs> yeah. So, 
I'm going to sketch that, or sketching in the, the uh, bank print, embankment here. And then, uh, as I said, I'm eliminating that bird. There's some textures back here, but nothing really distinct. And I'm going to go vertical again because these trees are behind that one. I got out my Three Stooges eraser. Here, here, here. Get rid of some of that. Yeah. All right, I can see that a little bit better. I can redefine, uh, you know, some of the feathers in here and such when I'm getting ready to do that portion of it. But right now, I'm going to stick with the uh, negative space or the space behind this um, bird here and the other birds and and um, try. Oop, got to switch pencils. Noticing that one wasn't getting dark. I was like, hey, get darker. And I was like, no, I'm not getting dark. I'm a number two, dude. Yeah. Get a B for that stuff. So I did. I grabbed my B. I'm talking to myself again. Darn it. All right. So I'm going to sharpen again. When you get to this point where these these branches are very... Oh, not a, not a very good point at all. All right, uh, so when you get to the point where you need these smaller branches because they're way in the back and they're very small as they are, um, so you you really need to sharpen your pencils and um, and use the right stroking because uh, if you're if you're heavy handed with this, it could appear uh, too thick, and if it's too thick, it tends to be. Uh, incorrect perspectively because you know branches don't get thicker as they go higher right they get thinner and, um, and so you want to keep creating and, and keep moving it around but don't cover up these little spaces of air I don't know if you can see that but this little spaces of air in between where the tree is uh, you can see the sky behind it it gives that tree that, you know, well, semi, not semi-transparency, but uh, the ability to look through it so it doesn't feel like it's heavy, uh, like it is a, a tree branch, a very light tree branch. If you were to draw it too thick and it's way in the distance, it's going to change the perspective quite probably dramatically. Uh, so you want to keep your perspective right throughout the whole drawing. Um, so sometimes I just use the tip of my pencil uh, by lifting my hand up and going almost perpendicular to the paper and just letting the, the uh, pencil go where it, where it wants to. Let the pencil take over. Jesus, take the wheel. Do you just take my pencil? No? All right. Um, so I'm getting little spots here where it's got nice little uh, more uh, other trees that are in the distance that are the barks of those trees or the trunks of those trees. And so I'm getting a heavier hand there and I want a straight up shot in most of that. All right. A lot of that's dark back there, so I'm just going to, this bottom part, I really don't need to get too uh, detailed. You know, my focus is that center where the bridge is, uh, crossing the bridge there. And so, I don't really need to worry about the details here. I'm still giving it texture, though. And, uh. The upward stroke, notice, it's this way. And then uh, it goes down to about here in that embankment. So I'm gonna drag these down further where I drew the trees there. Yeah, 
Well, it starts to get a little bit. The uh, terrain here is part of the land that these trees are in. So I'm giving it a varied stroke, some dark, some lighter, moving my pencil back and forth. I'm really trying to get it, uh, I'm gonna use my tortellini. Uh, I forget what this is called, tortelli stick? Uh, anyway, I'm getting some nice directional movement here. There we go. Nice and dark there. Kind of redrawing the the bird as I'm going through. There we go. Looking pretty good. I'm gonna redraw that bird back in there again. I don't want to. I don't want to draw over it, uh, just because it's hard to uh, pick up a lot of those things if I if I draw over it. Now I'm really lightening up my stroke here. I don't know if you can see that to supply a uh, ripple effect that I'm trying for here. Uh, you can see that I'm moving my uh, my blender stick and uh, so I feel like there's ripples there, you know. And I want I want the viewer to believe that there are ripples there. All right, so that's what I did. And that's what I did over here too. I'm gonna get some more over here. Um, nice and dark under here. Texture is nice. If you can see that. But then as you go further away, you lift up your tort, or your stick here, your blending stick. And you kind of give it some um, some movement just with your strokes there. And then you could use your Three Stooges eraser again and pick up some of this to create some of that, those lighter moments in there. It'll give you a nice ripple feeling in there. Not too many. Just enough to make it feel like there are rippling, there's a rippling effect going on in there. That's pretty good. I'll leave that alone. All right, that's looking pretty good. I'm feeling like the trees are, are uh, forward in front of that bridge. See how I pulled it forward? Uh, once I darkened everything, I started to get those trees. Um, so that that's what, exactly what I, I wanted to uh, occur, and that's what's happening. Um, so, yay. Yay me. I almost know what I'm doing a little bit. It's pretty good. All right, so I'm going to erase a little bit of this bird. Yeah, I want it to be lighter in, in the upper areas here. So I'm going to darken it. I don't know if you can see all that, but hopefully you can see what I'm doing. It's the first time I'm really doing this uh, type of video where I'm kind of giving a tutorial of what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Um, Hopefully you like this type of thing, and if you do, uh, let me know. I can try and do another one, if this uh, is something you'd like to see. Or you're completely bored with it, and you're like, stop it, man. Don't do it. I don't want any more of this. Then I won't. Leave me alone. All right, that's pretty good. Um, so, nice darkness. I like this curvature that's happening here. That little kind of U shape. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get that back in there. Yeah, just by getting this corner a nice little darkness here. Uh, all right, that's pretty good. All right, now I need a sharpening again. Again, I'm working on these small trees back here. I really don't want it to be thick. Some people make the mistake of really, um, well, not sharpening their pencil often enough and um, uh, kind of being heavy handed with the, br the uh, branches. Uh, and then you end up shifting the perspective in the wrong direction. And so you just lighten it up a bit more. Just gonna pick some of these up out of that area there. 
so it feels like that's in front of. And then I'm just gonna do, I'm, I, I eliminated this one because I don't, I don't like the way it kind of obstructed my feeling, but I, I picked this one up and moved it further. Again, something you could do as an art, artist, you know, you could change it, change it up if you want. If you think it's better for, compositionally, you should do that. Uh, so I'm gonna change back to my number two. I've only done this drawing in, in the number two pencil, the regular number two pencil, and a 3B pencil. A kneaded eraser, some cheap paper, it's not very expensive paper. As this is from a binder, a drawing paper I have. Um, so I mean, it's not, not expensive. If you really want to try drawing, I, I really uh, would love that, to see people trying uh, doing it. You know, it's fun. A lot of people enjoy uh, drawing and and just don't want to start or don't know how to start. I, I say just start. Start. There are so many amazing artists out there that you can uh, just just watch and see what they're doing or they can talk you through. Like uh, my favorite is Andrew Tischler. He's amazing. Amazing painter and drawer. Cesar, Cesar Santos is amazing. Uh, you know, these are great t teachers that are online that you don't have to uh, pay a cent for. You can just listen up and uh, they have valuable information. They've been to schools, ateliers. Uh, and so, you know, these, these are great artists and they're giving you free content. Um, Draw Mix Paint is another one that's much better for oil painters, but... For drawers, definitely Cesar Santos and uh, Andrew Tischler, if you're ever able to watch any of those. Or mine. <laughs> Not mine. All right. Anyway. Uh, so I'm keeping it light. Notice I'm, I'm really, uh, you know, I'm not going to do too much more to that. I like it. I'm going to leave that. Uh, I might, I'm going to give some more to this, though. I'm going to smudge it because the, the value... I right, still have my value scale available, and it's way over by the sixes, really, before I get down here. So I'm just going to give it a little color, or a little shade, rather. And then, uh, there you go. Yeah, that's better. That's looking pretty good. All right. Compositionally, I'm really liking what I'm seeing so far. Uh, it got a little bit light as I was smudging it with my hand because I'm a right-hander. Uh, so I just go back and darken up a little bit. Not too much, though. You don't want to pull it up in front of the trees. So these should be less uh, dark than the trees, for sure. You do not want to change perspective on it. All right. Good. All right, and then I'm going to go back in and redefine this bird. Um, my Three Stooges eraser. Get this. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, see? Or a 20s uh, gangster. Yeah, see? Ah, uh, see? All right, that's pretty good. All right, I'm going to redefine now uh, the face kind of here in the center here. So two little eyes, you don't have to get real detailed work. And a little, his little beak is, uh, it's almost, it's just a dot basically. Uh, so you don't draw an actual beak. If you can't see the beak, it's because you're too far away from it. So you don't draw uh, the actual beak shape. Um, because again, that, that's going to change perspective again. So I'm going to separate the body by drawing that line there and this line from the tail. The tail is very, very bright, so I'm going to go back over that soon. Uh, I'm going to draw the wingspan here, and then it gets really dark. And that's really nice in here. It goes... You can see the separations 
of the feathers in there. So there we go. There you go. Nice. All right. I like that. Let me take some of that off. Uh -huh. <laughs> See? Um, get rid of that. All right. That's good. Mm. I'm bright up. I've got a new battery coming soon. All right, I'm gonna now redefine this bottom one. It's a little bit further away. It's not looking into the camera as closely as the other one is. So very little, very little details are needed for that to be, to um, show that that's a bird flying towards us, right? So you don't really have to get all detailed work. I don't have to draw feathers and such, right? Because it's not that close. And it's in flight too, so it's got this uh, nice movement at the end. The tips are blurred. So I'm just going to darken up the eyes again. Give that beak a little darkness. And then bring in that f wingspan. There you go. All right. This last one I'm just going to just... Uh, I think I'm going to sketch this one instead. So I like this one. So again, there's, there's that, you know, the ability to change the picture. I still am going to make it that small because I want to show him further out. Right? He's smaller for a reason. You keep him that same size. He's further back. Right? Or she, if you're, geez, leave me alone. Uh, so I kind of sketched him out. I'm just going to erase where he is in here. All right. All right. So there that guy is. And just redefining the, uh, the uh, wingspan. Curves up. It's nice darkness in here. Where his tail's up is all right that's all i have to do there all right it feels like a pretty good drawing i think i'm i'm gonna end it there uh, well let me get this first i want to make these ripples feel like more like ripples and all i'm gonna do is take my uh, number three b pencil it's a very dark pencil i'm going to give some strokes to represent those ripples and make it feel like those trees are uh, in movement, right? It's, it's going back and forth in this ripple effect. And so, that way, it feels better. All right. Now I'm going to take my Three Stooges eraser again. Just go in there again. I don't have to do many, uh, but that feels better. It feels more like the ripples there. All right. Hope you enjoyed that. If you're still with me, why? Why are you still with me? I'm just kidding. All right. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Take care.